Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Disco Bot tutorial. In this video, we're going to be doing leveling up and granting XP so that doing certain commands or maybe even just sending messages in your server grants the user XP, which we added with profiles last episode. And then from that, we'll be able to detect when the user levels up. And then maybe when they level up, we can send an embed to a certain channel or maybe the channel where they leveled up in. It's up to you how to customize it. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this video is going to be split up into four parts. Part one will be calculating the level for a profile. So it's just going to be a simple conversion from XB to level. It's up to you what you use here. You know, you can write whatever you want for the conversion. I'm going to write something really simple. Step two will be granting XP so that in a command or in a, an event in the disco bot, we can grant XP to a user. Step three, we'll be detecting level up. So when we grant XP, we actually want to know, you know, did the person level up? Because if they did, we then want to notify in the server somewhere the fact that they leveled up. Okay, so step one, calculating level really simply. In our profile class, I've made a level property so we can access the level of a profile. And all it does is currently it just takes XP and divides it by 100. And because it's an integer and XP is an integer and 100 is treated as an integer, it actually always gives us an integer. So if I am, for example, on 299 XP, it'll say I'm level two. But as soon as I hit 300 XP, it'll say I'm level three. Now. For now, I'm happy with that and I don't really care. But if you guys want something where, for example, as you level up, it uh, requires more XP to go to the next level, which is how most games are, then feel free to write something else here to calculate that, do some rounding, do some, you know, powers, multiplication. It's up to you guys, but that's it. That's all we need, just some way to get level from a profile. For step two, there's something we're going to have to actually do first. And that's because when we actually inject our services over in our commands, so if we go look at, for example, team commands, or actually profile commands, now ignore experience service because that's something we're going to do in this video. But when we inject profile service, uh, it hangs around in here. We've got this instance of the service. And what we do right now is in the constructor of a service, we cache the reference to our DB context. Now, if you ever do like an API call or something, what happens is, um, a new instance is created for that request and then it's disposed of after the request. For our bot, it currently caches it for the lifetime of the bot. Now, you can work with that, but it actually makes it very awkward to do because, um, for example, when you load up a profile in one command and then later on, for example, you load it up again in another command, you can actually get conflicting problems because it's already tracking that profile and you have to write extra code to say, well, if we're already tracking it, do it this way and if we're not tracking it, do it this way. So the way I'm doing it is I'm treating it as every uh, request is a new instance of our DB context. So if we head over to the profile service, what I've changed is instead of injecting the DB context, I inject the options, okay, which is what you need to create a new instance of the context. And then in our queries, I just add this line at the start, simply just using uh, var context equals a new RPG context. So when we do this uh, command, we actually create a new instance of the database context. And then we use that in here. So instead of what it was, it was underscore context using the read-only field. Now it's just normal context, okay? That's the only change. Uh, I've changed it in the profile service and I've changed it in the item service. So it's just the same thing. Inject the options instead of the context, make a new instance of the context, use it. And then for this other command, make a new instance of the context and use it, okay? Um, yeah, that's, that's it for that. Let's move on to the experience service. So as you see over here, this is what we need to actually be granting XP. It's another service. I don't need to go over typing this all out because we've done it before for the profile and item service. It's a task because it's asynchronous that we need to uh, return this view model. So I've made a view model and the view model is effectively just some data we're getting back from this method because you could return, for example, a bool to say if you leveled up or not, but then how do you know what level you are now? You're just telling it like, hey, I leveled up, but to, to what? And then you could equally just return an integer for what level you leveled up to, but then how would it know if you leveled up? It would have to know what you were before and what you were after. So simply, we just return this view model and we can access you know, who it is that leveled up, whether they leveled up, and then obviously we can do profile.level to grab the level off it. So I've made that class. I have uh, just stuck it in. Let's close DAL. We don't need that anymore. In the core, I've made services and I've made view models. So in view models, I've just chucked the XP view model. And that's what this method returns. It's called grant XP async. And it takes in the stuff we need, which is the Discord ID, the guild ID, and the amount of XP to add on, okay? And then we implement it. So we do the uh, DB context options like in the previous examples, but actually in this service, I inject the profile service. And the reason is because I need to go grab a profile or in the case that we've got, we want to get or create a profile because maybe if someone joins the server, we give them XP, but they don't have a profile yet. So we have to make sure they have one. Rather than rewriting that code again in here, we're just going to inject the service and reuse it. 
Okay, so we pass it in in the constructor and we save it in here. And then over here, when we actually do the query, okay, when we grant XP, what do we do? Well, we make the new instance of the context, that's to be expected. And then we go grab the profile from the profile service. So we say profile is await profile, service dot get or create profile. We pass through the Discord ID and the guild ID. And then we've got the profile. And now what we do is we cache in here, well, I say cache, but we basically store here yeah, the level we are at this point in time. So we grab the, the level, we store it. So we are level one, for example. Then we add on some XP. Once we've added the XP, we then update it in the database. Okay, so we update the profile and we save the changes. And then afterwards, I mean, this line could actually go anywhere after we've added XP. But the point is we now have an integer for our level before and our level after. And then we return, because we're returning a XP view model, we just return a new XP view model. And we have to just set some things on it. So we set the profile to be the profile we loaded. And then we set leveled up to be whether leveled after is greater than level before. You could also set it to be whether level after is not equal to level before. But, you know, I'm trying to think of some really weird edge case where you might, I don't know, uh, reduce someone's XP. So you don't want to say congratulations, you leveled up to a lower level. So, you know, greater than will do here. Yeah. And then because we've now got this logic to grant XP and know if we leveled up and who it was that leveled up, we can then head over to any of our commands. OK, so, for example, the profile commands inject the experience service so anywhere you want to grant xp to your users you just inject the experience service okay and then obviously get it in the constructor then we use it so for example i'm saying that whenever someone uh so th this is the same this is what you had last time we were up to here okay whenever someone gets a profile to display we're actually going to give that person's profile some xp now that's a really bad example because obviously you probably don't want to do that um the way this works right now is if i go grab someone else's profile they get some xp because I guess I've looked at their profile, maybe. You know, you do whatever you want. This is just the one example I could think of. So we say, let's get a view model back from the experience service, grant XP. And I'm just hard coding 100 saying, give this person 100 XP, okay? And then we get back the view model from that. And we say, well, if they didn't level up, then return, right? If they didn't level up, we don't want to do anything extra. But if they did level up, then we actually want to say, okay, um, level up embed. Let's make a level up embed saying, person is now level whatever level they are okay and that level is grabbed from the profile and then also i've changed in here sorry the uh profile embed when you grab someone's profile to say their level instead of their xp because i mean maybe you want to say both right i mean why not we'll just say uh profile embed uh add field xp profile dot x uh, xp dot two string it's up to you right and then we send that message to the channel. Now, I currently just send it to the uh, channel where this was done in, but it's up to you. You could have a separate channel for level ups. I think quite a lot of bots do that. And the way we could actually do that is we could have a separate class that actually handles granting XP because at the end of the day, the core should not be doing Discord related stuff. You should have something in between commands and core that actually grants XP. And the reason is, let's say uh, we have another command that grants XP. Well, you don't want to have to write out again saying, well, if they didn't level up, then return. But if they did level up, then send an embed. That embed sending should happen, you know, anytime you grant XP and level ups happen. But as I said, you don't want to do it in core because it's not really the job of this to do that. Uh, yeah, you could, for example, pass in stuff to the context and it could do it. But now nah, it makes more sense to have something in between that you call and then that thing in between then calls a database so you have kind of like three layers you have your commands your command says middle layer grant some xp and then your middle layer says okay database um you know add the xp then that middle layer when it gets the view model back says all right you leveled up send the embed so that here we don't have to have this code that's one possible refactor that you could do if you wanted to and now all we need to do is go over to our startup okay and we need to say down here add scoped I experience service so now we can inject that to anything and we can use it there okay let's give it a go so if we go run the bot and we head over to discord now you'll see i was testing it earlier i was having some problems originally which was the problems of the db context um not using it as a new instance every single time i was having problems but now i've solved it by doing that so if i say question mark profile i go grab my profile it says you know i'm level now obviously i'm gonna have a different level because i've been testing it I'm level 13 and then after grabbing it I've added some XP and it says hey Dapper Dino's now level 14. Obviously I can then go grab Mickey's profile for example okay and now he's level one okay and then if I did it again I hope he doesn't get annoyed with me pinging him 
uh, then he'll be now, he's level 1, but now he's level 2 because he's leveled up, and I can equally do the same with the Discord tutorial bot. So it's up to you when to add XP now, how much to add, how to calculate level. Um, profile at Discord bot tutorial. And then, yeah, everything can level up now. So you can store people's levels. Obviously, if the bot turns off and comes back on, it knows their level because we've used the database. And then from that, you can then do things based on someone's level. You know, you could write a method in the experience service to go grab someone's level. If that level's greater than whatever requirement, then they can do something or whatever. It's up to you. So I hope this video has helped you. It was quite a short one. Uh, if you've got any questions, you know, first of all, go look on the GitHub. There's a repository if you need access to the code. Otherwise, you can ask questions down below, of course. Um, yeah, feel free to give me some suggestions down below. I actually kind of want to end this series off relatively soon, um, just because rather than having it go on forever, maybe I'll do some more Discord bot videos on different topics. But for this like RPG series, I guess I should be ending it soon. So my plan is to just do some uh, items, item related stuff so that you can actually have items, right? You can have your inventory, display your inventory, and then pass that, you know, any of the requests I'll take. but. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, if you did, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see more of. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye. But of course, before I go, I've got to thank my patrons. A special thanks to Liz Kimber, Josh Folsom, Beard or Die, Dustin Miller, Francisco Diaz, Rec, Yoris Letter, Hades Orko, Rene, and Marie Baldwin. If anyone else is able to help support the channel monetarily, link to my Patreon is down below. If not, there are also links down below to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. If you could help me out by following on any of those, it would be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.